Well, here it is, a wonderful fall evening next to Tiamu Creek. October 3rd, 2015. Hard to believe. Time marches on. Well, here's a little bit of iambic pentameter. Somebody was asking, what is iambic pentameter? Well, iams are like feet. Pentameter is a meter that has a rhythm of five. And basically, it's one of the things you learn when you get into Shakespeare. But the iambic pentameter is like the dut, the dut, the dut, the dut, the dut. It's usually ten syllables. And in Shakespeare, all of his stuff, it isn't all iambic pentameter, but it's all over the place. And it's a, it's a wonderful thing. And there's a piece I have loved and worked on in Hamlet, and I just realized tonight that it is absolutely pure iambic pentameter. It's one of the pieces I've memorized. So here you go. I'm going to do it really <laughs> kind of rudely and uh, annoyingly, but you'll catch this uh, iambic pentameter. This is the uh, this is the play within a play in Hamlet. This is Act 3, Scene 2, Line 184. The Player King is speaking. So let's see if I can pull this off. I do believe you think what now you speak. But what we do determine, off we break. Purpose is but the slave to memory. A violent birth but poor validity. Which now, like fruit and ripe, sticks on the tree, but fall and shaken when they mellow be. Most necessary it is that we forget to pay ourselves what to ourselves is debt, what to ourselves in passion we propose. The passion ending doth the purpose lose, the violence of either grief or joy, their own inactions with themselves destroy. Where joy most revels, grief doth most lament. Grief joys or grieves on slender accident. This world is not for I, nor tis not strange, That even our love should with our fortunes change. For tis a question left us yet to prove, Whether lovely fortune or else lo fortune love. The great man down you mark his favorite flies, the poor advance make friends of enemies, And hitherto doth love on fortune tend, For who not needs shall never lack a friend, And who in want a hollow friend doth try, Directly seasons him his enemy. But orderly to end where I begun, Our wills and fates do so contrary run that our device is still are overthrown, our thoughts are ours, our ends, none of our own. So think thou wilt no second husband wed, but die thy thoughts when thy first lord is dead. Yeah, pretty close, right? I know I've never recited actually anything that long in, in kind of like what we call that artificial forced iambic pentameter because how I would recite this, it would sound more like this, and I'll just do a small part of this. I do believe you think what now you speak, but what we do determined oft will you break. Purpose is but the slave to memory, a violent birth but poor validity. So you see it's a little bit different. I mean that's the more natural bit, and then the iambic pentameter kind of you bring it in, but it's not artificial. Anyhow, that's it. This may be useful to somebody. And if only one, that would be good. That's it for this small little bit.